Welcome to my channel folks, this is Dave here from EasyTech and today I'm going to show you a few simple steps on how to fix your computer when it types wrong characters. So without further ado, let's jump right into our tutorial. As you can see, when I hold down the shift key and hit the quotation or the inverted comma key, instead of that you get the at sign. And when you hit the pound key, instead of that you get the number or the hash sign. And then when you hit the at key button, instead of that you get the quotation or the inverted comma sign. And when you hit the tilde key button, Instead of that, you get the pipe or the vertical bar sign. So the two most common keyboard types are either US or UK keyboards. Uh, this usually happens when you are setting up a new computer or when you reset or format your PC. And let's say you happen to have a UK type keyboard and when setting up your PC, instead of UK, you select US keyboard layout in settings or vice versa. Um, that's when you'll encounter this issue. Now let me show you a few simple steps on how to fix this. So you first go to start and click on settings and then select time and language and then go to language and then uh, in my case since I'm using a UK keyboard I need to either use or download a UK keyboard. So as you can see in options, there's only English uh, United States. So I need to go and add a language. So what you do is just type English here. And then it gives you a list of English options. So and since my keyboard is English UK, I need to select English uh, United Kingdom. And then click on next and then click install. And then it will start to download and install English UK. This will take a few moments to uh, install. And you can see now English UK has been installed. Now I need to uh, move English UK uh, one level up and make it as your top first priority since my keyboard is English UK. And then here select English United Kingdom as your display language. Click yes, sign out now. So once you sign out and sign back in, it will reset English UK or your preferred uh, English language as your display language. So once you sign out and sign back in, there's one final step to be done. Uh, click on start, then click on settings once again and then click on time and language and then click on language and then click on keyboard depending on which keyboard you're using in my case since i'm using a uk keyboard i'll be selecting english uk and now the keys on our keyboard should be functioning perfectly so let's go back and check our keyboard now And now you can see when I hold down the shift key and press the quotation key, I get the quotation sign. When I press the pound key, I get the pound sign. And when I press the add key, I get the add key sign. And when I press the tilde key, I get the tilde key sign. Thank you for watching and if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more tutorials from me, click on the red subscribe button below.